Hey, what's up guys and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be taking a closer look at this beauty airbrush by the company Enjoy Ness. Now the reason why I'm making a review because what makes this airbrush unique is that it's cordless. So basically you have the compressor here and the battery built in so this is basically rechargeable and you can take this anywhere with you. So what we're going to do today is we're going to go ahead and test it out and then at the end I'm going to tell you if it's worth your money. And also before moving on just wanted to let you know that for this video I'm going to be testing this new wireless microphone by the company Moments. This one comes with two transmitters i'm using one right now so if you guys are interested in this microphone or the airbrush that i'm using on this video i'm going to leave links in the description and remember and no additional cost to use you can use those links and it helps me out a little bit here on the channel and i appreciate that a lot all right guys so that without further ado let's go ahead and test out our new cordless airbrush here we go Bye. All right guys, and we are back and here is the before of my revolver and here is the after of my revolver. It actually turned out really good. Again, I don't consider myself an expert, uh, but I do love using airbrush. I like that I can also use the trigger, which is kind of nice. 
Uh, so really quick. So now what I want to do is I want to go over the pros and the cons of this airbrush. But before I do, just wanted to point out that this uh, airbrush has a nozzle of 0.3 millimeter. All right, just wanted to point that out in case you were asking that question. Uh, so let's start with the pro. So the first thing I have to say that I really love about it is obviously the compressor, the cordless compressor. Uh, I love the freedom that it gives me. I love the ability that I can go anywhere. I can go outdoor, indoor. I can move around my table to get that paint brush or that paint stroke where I want it. If you don't like holding the compressor, it's not a problem because it includes a hose, which is really nice. So you can have the compressor on the side and then you can have a little bit more uh, of a grip on that gun, which is really nice. Second one is the three level pressure, the P3 PSIs available. This one includes a 22 and it also gives you 26 and a 36. So it gives you that option, which I think is kind of cool if you want to be able to control the amount of paint that comes out of this airbrush. You can use this to color nails, you can use this to, if you're like me, uh, spray paint action figures, or you can paint a canvas. So the possibilities are endless because it gives you those three pressures. All right, number three, I like the airbrush kit that comes with. When you get this airbrush, it'll come in a box like this. Uh, inside, obviously, you will find the cleaning kit, you will find the USB cable. Also, you will find two additional cups, which is great. So if you are constrained by always cleaning the airbrush, that's one of the things I don't like about it because every time you change the different colors, you have to clean it up. So this is cool because you can have one color here, another color here, and another color on the metal cup. So I think it makes the cleaning a little bit faster, in, um, in my opinion. All right, guys, and now we're gonna go over the cons of this airbrush. Let's start with number one. It doesn't have a dual action feature when the compressor is attached to the airbrush. So basically what the dual action feature does is that it gives you the ability to press the trigger down and then it starts releasing the air and then you pull back and then it starts releasing the paint. When it's on the compressor and you turn it on, it will automatically start releasing the air. However, if you attach the hose included in the box, it will give you that feature back. So basically when you hit that trigger button down, it will start releasing the air and when you pull it back, it will start releasing the paint. And number two, it can be a little bit uncomfortable using the uh, airbrush with the compressor attached. I do have to mention that it does have a little bit of weight. So with time, your wrist may get a little bit tired. So one thing that to keep in mind. However, I don't think this is really an issue because it includes a hose. If that's the case, all you have to do is detach the compressor and attach the hose and it's not gonna have that weight anymore. And it will be more of a traditional airbrush. And number three, remember this compressor has a built-in battery. So that means that if your battery dies, then you won't be able to continue to paint. I tried connecting it to a battery, a bank battery, to see if I could still use it, but it will not power on when it's connected with the USB charging cable. So that's something to keep in mind. However, it the battery charges really quick. I think I charge maybe it could charge maybe between 30 to 45 minutes, which is not bad at all. In fact, before I started this video, I plugged it in to charge it, and the battery fully charged it in probably less than 30 to 45 minutes. So something to keep in mind if you need to paint for a long period of time. All right, guys, and that is it for today. If you did like this video, I'm also going to recommend this one up here. As always, thank you for your support. If you liked any of these products that we use in this video, I'm going to leave links at the description and no additional cost to you. You can use that link and it helps me out a little bit here on the channel. And as always, thank you for your likes and thank you for subscribing to the channel. I will see you guys next time. Take care, guys. Bye.